hello guys everyone here and welcome to a new video so today we are here with the new 2024 mercedes amg and this is the g63 4x4 squared and today we are at mg performance center very much special thanks for having us here today In this video we will check out the exterior interior sound and also the practicality of this car. Alright guys, so let's start with the exterior of this beautiful monster machine we can say. So the G63 4x4 squared is taller than regular G63 as you can see here and it's about one foot taller, about 30 centimeters. But the ground clearance is now lower than the G500 4x4 squared which is uh, like a predecessor to this car so we have 10 centimeters lower ride height so it feels much more sporty to drive this car than the previous g500 4x4 which was uh, not an amg but it was a 500 version also with a v8 but this one is a regular amg we can say if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe and turn on notification bells so you're notified for all future episodes and thank you much for your support so you can see beautifully how the car is now widened with the wheel arches which are from carbon fiber check it out this glossy carbon and also you can see these protectors here on the side they are also finished in carbon fiber check it out looks absolutely stunning these small details which make the car looks very very cool so here we have mg logo also uh, the carbon is underneath v8 by turbo and the easiest way how to differentiate the 4x4 from the cabin check it out on the top so here we have the roof structure which you can see from the sunroof check it out and here we have very very cool paint which I personally really love and this is the Manufacture Platinum Magno so uh, this is sort of like a light grey we can say and uh, also Magno means uh, matte paint so you can see it has pearlescent effect this paint now on the sunshine you can see this but it's still a matte paint so uh, for the other countries in Europe is not allowed to have a bull bar which is a shame but uh, outside of the Europe you can have a bull bar which I would definitely go for it looks uh, even better than here uh, like this but yeah even like this it looks uh, absolutely fantastic um, in terms of the design also here we have the lights on the top check it out and also roof And here we have also leather check out these steps are like they are not slippery so they have a special coating on the top so they are not slippery and you can climb on the top of the roof check it out you can see here the instructions and this roof can support about 300 pounds about 150 uh, kilograms on the lower section check out this trim piece so we need this so other cars when they crash from the back they don't go under the car so this is like a protection under for the underbody and when the car could slide there uh, easier also like every g-wagon here we have the spare tire with this amazing carbon cover check it out and 4x4 squared embossed with the black mercedes logo and the whole rear had to be more uh, restructured so it can handle this much weight because usually we have smaller tire here in the back and also the tire is like covered here we have like um, it exposed the tire which i think looks uh, very very off-roadish so yeah absolutely stunning i was just well, well, for one hour i was just taking uh, photos and uh, filming uh, for the vertical for the instagram vertical videos i was so amazed by this car also amg logo here in gloss black as well as the g63 here and leather actually can support 100 kilos so less than the roof so uh, i assume you need to be under this weight to climb on the roof 
and yeah absolute beast mode check out here we can check it out the roof you can stand here on the side so you can see the structure of the roof so it's not slippery the material and uh, yeah I think it looks very very cool this whole idea to give it like this in terms of the design also here we can see the fuel tank you should use 98 or more octane so the best you can find on the fuel station and these are 22 inch wheels you can see the tire pressures and also these vents you have to relieve the pressure from the cabin we also have these on every other g-class so it's not only design this piece and also these tail lamps they look like they are smoked so more dark so in terms of the side design you can see how large this car appears and uh, yeah really really huge difference so now we have 35 centimeters the ground clearance on the g500 it was uh, 45 centimeters so uh, yeah we have about 10 centimeters difference it feels lower definitely but uh, still feels like it's uh, much bigger than the regular g-class also these mud flaps check out how sturdy they look also here is like a coating special coating check it out also here so yeah i'm really a huge fan of this car i mean who, who is not a huge huge fan let me know i think everyone is also check out here we have some additional i believe these are the cameras probably or indicators also the famous g-class indicators here are smoked so check out here the mercedes star is now blackout looks absolutely fantastic and the panamericana grill is in chrome amg logo here in black check it out and also these trim pieces are in matte black traditional g-class led lights and also multi-beam led technology so yeah very very massive looking vehicle let's check it out from the front you feel like you are completely different car than the regular g-class so looks much more lifted also what i really love about the g-class is that you have exposed hinges on the doors so the car looks uh, very off-roady and rugged we can say with these hinges amazing and also the door closing sound and opening sound all right guys so let's check out the wheels here here we have the off-road true off-road tires these are 22 inch the tire size is 325 55 r22 and these are scorpion atr by pirelli you can see the scorpion logo there and these beautiful matte black wheels with the chrome mercedes in the middle so these have design of a y shape and also one spoke in between the y shapes and uh, absolutely messy looking check it out also here we have the red brake calipers with black amg logo and ventilated brake discs here is the suspension which needs to take so much off-road situations absolutely crazy made in poland check it out you can see also the exhaust check it out and the frame so yeah absolutely messy in terms of the suspension also you can see the mat flaps here on the behind the front wheels and also behind the rear wheels and your typical exhaust as always on the side with the g-class amg logos and these are in chrome and also here we have the guard 360 degree protection which can be connected with your app in your phone and also it can take photos if something happens around the car and blind spot monitor here as well so the mirrors here are absolutely huge as my palm check it out absolutely huge and this needed to be extended check it out because of the wheel arches which are also extended so yeah looking absolutely massive also here in the back you can see the carbon fiber which extends uh, for the wheel arches absolutely stunning looking here are the rear wheels check out how much ground clearance do you have here absolutely crazy and the thread you can see very easily here on the car very off-roady i have to say look looking very off-roady but i'm sure they are also good on the road so they are like a hybrid tire so the ground clearance on the 4x4 squared 
is 35 centimeters and wading depth so how deep into the water can go this car is 90 centimeters and you can see the inches on the screen it's uh, less obviously than G500 that's because it has a lower ground clearance but still for uh, many people this is just enough and uh, yeah this is what they want to have a little bit less ground clearance but still a lot but uh, yeah you can clear I would say most of the waters here with this car independent front suspension from the regular g-class is combined with the portal axles so that's very unique for these 4x4 squared so there is a gear on the wheel that connects it to the axle you can also check it out here from the lower section so there is actually how it looks when it's combined with the portal axle and independent front suspension also here we have the cover on the lower section very very cool and through off-road capabilities for the G-Class alright so let's open the hood and check out this power plant alright so here is your huge hood check it out how high it is up and this is a power plant of this engine. This is 4.0 liter V8 by Turbo, handcrafted in Falterbach, the home of AMG. And here is a signature of a person which handcrafted this particular engine. Also check out this strut connection for more rigidity. So on the engine cover, check it out, carbon fiber and also Mercedes Star and AMG in black. And this has two turbochargers on the top of the cylinder bank so this is the hot V setup so the power here is 585 horsepower and also we have a 9g transmission this car can so sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour takes only about five seconds so that's really fast for this huge vehicle so the best performing new g-class in the off-road situations and if you want to close the hood you need to actually go a little bit to the side and then you can close this and you need to slam it to close this properly Here are the indicators, this is how they look. The G-Class we don't have here indicators, we have them here. Also the glass here is smoked, so it's more dark than it's usually the case. Also you can see them here. So these are in different positions than in your typical G-Class. And in the back we can see them here, as it's always the case. So this is how it looks. Also here for the back cover, you have here this opening and you need a tool. I don't have it here right now, but uh, you need to put it here, twist, and then you can open actually this back cover for the wheel. So that's very cool how you can do this. All right, so let's take a look at the interior here. I'm going here from the passenger side because the driver seat is covered in the cover so we can see it here and uh, look at this this is absolutely stunning the grab handle so typical for the g-class has now 4x4 squared and uh, yeah absolutely fantastic this is a amg napa leather in this beautiful black finish with diamond stitching and this beautiful platinum top stitching check it out absolutely gorgeous with AMG logo here and yeah here is the sunroof where you can see the roof construction absolutely beautiful also check out here inserts so this looks very very luxurious also here it's stitched check it out very very nice the trim here is carbon fiber you can see it here and also we can see it here in the doors on the sunshine and stitching also here in the doors top finish 
also fully electric seats, three memory seats, and you can ventilate the seats and also heat them up. So many luxurious stuff in the car. And you can lock and unlock if you are sitting on the inside. Door packets are quite large. You can check out, you can put here a water bottle, these door seals, check it out with illuminated AMG logo. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, amazing interior. Also, here in the doors, you can see the badge Mercedes Benz G Schuckel proofed. So, this means that every G class goes onto the Schuckel mountain near the Graz, where is the factory of the G class, and it can do the course on the hill. So, on that hill, the car is tested, and uh, that means that it can do just about anything uh, what it can do. So, yeah, this is the playground for the G class. And the door closing sound is very rugged. Check it out. All right, so here we are in the driver's seat of the G63 4x4 squared. And check out how amazing this cabin looks. You feel like you will conquer the road in this car. Absolutely massive sitting position. The, the GLE here feels like it's a smaller car. So crazy, crazy feeling. So check out the animation when we turn on the infotainment system. brand new for the 4x4 squared and in terms of the Burmester speakers here we have also one on the top and the dashboard here is encased very nicely in the leather check it out looks absolutely stunning and also the carbon fiber is here underneath the displays looking very very cool here is your engine start stop button and also the start stop function next to the button and here on the top we have the speaker, check it out. Also you can close the sunroof and you can turn off the light when you open the doors. Also you have uh, buttons with the lights, an SOS button and also the Mercedes Me button. And also here we have the sun visor, this one has a mirror and also a light and microphone here on the top. And check out here the handle, it's like from the S-Class, everything is wrapped in the leather looks very luxurious also the suede smooth like microfiber material on the top and yeah you can see the structure of the roof here so yeah here is how the roof works for the window and you still need to close this manually this is only in the g-class not in many cars you can also see here the vents so what you can do is you can open this I believe you can also open it for the ventilation. Let's check it out. Yes, check out. Only for the ventilation. Or you can open it fully. And you can simultaneously also close this. Check it out. But only up to this point. So now we can have a fresh air coming to the car as well. And we can see the lights from the back. Also they have carbon fiber there. Check it out. How cool is this? So here for the command system you can choose from the different displays. Also here we have the 4x4 performance, so let's check it out. So here for the display you can change the design. So here we have the Sport, the Classic and Progressive. This one is the Classic one and this one is the Progressive. My favorite is probably the Sport one. And then what we have new here is actually, let's go back to Comfort Mode. So, uh, yeah, we don't need, uh, also here is slippery mode, check it out. So you can see the driving modes also on the central screen. And uh, what we have here, new, is this 4x4 performance. So here we can see the temperature of the engine oil, then we can see the temperature of the transmission and boost for the turbocharger. Then we have the setup geforce lap timer and boost kilowatts newton meters so you can change this up also on the right side if you swipe you can see the date geforce boost uh, tire pressure as well if you start to drive consumption and the navigation so here you have your gear a lever so you can change the 
mode. Also here we have the 360 cameras. And this is not touch screen still, so you need to use this uh, scroll wheel and also this pad on the top. So here you can see the wide angle. This is from the front. Then we have a front angle, also 360 view on the left side. Then sides. Then we have the rear wide angle and the rear as well. So high definition cameras, very, very nice. And here you can see the infotainment system. So we have here the navigation. You can zoom in and out. And then we have here the radio, media, telephone, in-car office, connect, and vehicle settings and system settings. So for the vehicle settings, we can find here the seats. So with the seats, we have the massage function as well, dynamic seat, level two, so it will inflate the bolsters lumbar support you can set it up in terms of the massage you can change uh, normal intensity or high and you can have a hot relaxing back hot relaxing shoulder activating massage classic massage wave mobilizing active workout active workout only for the backrest only for the cushion so yeah all these beautiful massages and say bolsters you can also change the level up to 10 I can feel already inflating the bolsters, really cool. Then uh, we have here the climate control, so you can change this, energizing comfort, dynamic select, this is for the drive, assistance for the assistance system, consumption and vehicle settings. So here you can see all kinds of settings, what your typical G-Class can do as well. Also ambient lighting, for example, we have here the 64 colors and you can change also to 100% and this one is the more, the most brightest one. You can also see it here, the ambient lighting. Also here we have the differential locks, so we have three, one, two differentials uh, basically this one is the middle one the central this one is the front and this one is the rear differential so what you do in off-road you basically uh, turn on these so you turn on these only when it's like impossible to move without them otherwise you don't turn these on because uh, it's only for the off-road when it's super super slippery when i was in the g class experience center in graz in austria the home of G-Class. We tried these differentials in real off-road and otherwise when you're driving on the road don't turn this on because you are wearing out the differentials uh, and it's not necessary. So if you turn on the differentials here you will get the trail mode automatically. So let's start with the central. You can see the trail mode is now on and you can do that also for other differentials. And also the suspension here is in trail, check it out, or it can be in sand or rock. And you can turn them off as well, very easily. Now we are back in the comfort mode. But the ESP stick off, you can turn this on as well. So yeah, that's uh, about this. Also here we have the buttons for the AC and Probably the last car which has the Schaffhausen IWC clock in the middle and the trim here is carbon fiber. Underneath we can find the two cup holders and also the 12 volt socket. And I believe you can place your key fob here if the battery in the key fob dies. I think it should be possible to insert it here. Yes, like this. And also this is the key fob to the vehicle with your Falterbach crest logo at the back and AMG at the front. You can also get only this part for any AMG which you have and uh, yeah, you can have it like that. So let's close it. In the middle we have dynamic button. This is to change the driving modes. Individually you can also change to your individual needs. Manual shifting, transmission, uh, traction control, volume knob, exhaust button. 
than 360 cameras and low range also you use this only in the off-road don't use this on the road if it's not absolutely necessary the car is not spinning then don't uh, use this also the rear mirror is actually digital so you turn the digital with this with this small flick check it out now you have display so now you don't really see anything towards the back of the car you only see the spare tire check it out this is what i see basically as a driver not much so this is really important that now you can use this as a display and also here you have the button for the setting so if you press this then you can actually change the position also the brightness of the screen and if i press one more time then we can also change the angle so you can have it lower actually use this rear camera and you can move to the side as well how amazing is this and then you can also tilt so this is i think on more cars we should have this feature because it's really useful i will put a little bit more back so you can see the you can also see the spare tire here so we can put a little bit more okay so this should be perfect and the brightness i think it's better to have it on lower brightness maybe like this so it's not too intrusive so yeah how amazing is this i think more more cars should have this feature for sure and also if you have the engine off the mirror still works check it out as a display so here are the seats with demo stitching as we seen them from the other side also in the middle we have the armrest and underneath storage space also here we have the usb 8 ports and sd card slot and in terms of the glove compartment here we have pretty large glove compartment check it out so yeah really amazing what you can do here in the g-class and i think this is my favorite feature for sure this uh, digital rear mirror so here we don't have a huge amount of the space but still keep in mind this is an old military uh, vehicle which is now modernized so uh, you cannot expect this to be a huge car on the inside but it's not small but you cannot expect like s-class or anything like that i'm sitting as far as back as uh, possible because of the filming but uh, yeah i i feel amazing here uh, mainly because i have a great headroom so i don't feel cramped and this upright military position so um, yeah absolutely uh, a dream car to have huge amount of the headroom i'm 186 centimeters six feet and two inches and even taller people than me can definitely fit here so uh, no issue with the headroom for sure also here on the steering with these displays and buttons you can change bunch of settings for example the suspension can be comfort sport sport plus the exhaust can be on or off transmission can be automatic or manual and auto start stop as well mg dynamics traction control can be sport or you can turn it off as well so it now turn it off then what you can do is select for example how you want so exhaust can be on the lower part suspension the top part for example and here we have settings for the cruise control so you can change the speed for that so let's hop uh, outside of the car so you need to step here that's the best way and then you can hop outside we can also move the seat a little bit more forward all right guys so let's check out here the back seats as well really nice in terms of the door pockets also illuminated amg logos here at the door seals and a very nice bench in the rear there is just my backpack and you can see how upright is this in terms of the position also what i want to show is the practicality so here we have a latch check it out you can pull this and move the seat like this and you can also fold this backrest check it out if you push this lever then the seat folds and now you can put it back down check it out 
and now you have a transport you can do that also with these seats so now you have a transport bed where you can put some other stuff check it out absolutely fantastic in terms of the practicality all right so now let's go and check out the boot capacity let's open the doors and check out here this huge heavy door it's actually surprisingly easy to not super easy but i thought it would be more difficult to move also you have here the carbon fiber and this beautiful stitching check it out absolutely fantastic also here are the floor mats for the g63 these are i believe the emergency vests they look like uh, something floating for the for the pool also here we have the what is this oh, okay so this is the ashtray i believe and here we have the first aid kit this is for the like mandatory accessories which you need uh, for the car and here is the amg envelope for the private lounge of these pieces i think this is for something to do with the roof because it says dach which is a roof in the in german so yeah this is probably to cover up something on the roof also what do we have here it's nicely bolted check it out it's nicely attached here so what is this i'm actually wondering what can it be i genuinely don't know okay so i believe this is the cargo net which goes to connect here and you can actually so you can separate the cabin from the cargo area here with this net i believe and also you have here the roller cover check it out and this is the roller cover check it out so this here is uh, not possible to open i believe maybe this but uh, i don't know also here we have the speaker check it out subwoofer and the net also light 12 volt socket very cool indeed and you can see how you can fold the seats you can this one separately and this one together so you have 60 40 split and also a light on the top and yeah here are the hooks to secure so yeah very very cool indeed and also this nice trim piece and these are not slippery check out these inserts these are like a stickers so they have special coating so it's not slippery these stickers check it out very very cool absolutely massive in terms of the cargo area you can transport so much you can check out liters and cubic feet on the screen so let me know so let me know what you think about this and how do you like this and it's surprisingly easy to close this door i thought it would be much more difficult i think everyone can open and close this door for sure all right guys so that's it for this video let me know how do you like the new g63 4x4 squared in the comment section down below don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and turn on notification bell so you're notified for all future episodes thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day